Hello there. Um, I'm going to do a drawing. Um, I asked on Facebook recently uh, if people had any pictures for me to draw because I've used up all the ones I like. So I, I, I got a few replies which and, and some people gave me some lovely, lovely pictures to do. So I'm dead pleased. Uh, this one is of a cobra and it's in uh, approaching a blue white star. So I'm obviously here I'm, I'm using chalk and I'm colouring in my piece of grey paper. I, th I couldn't find a dark blue piece of paper or I'd have used blue but I think actually it worked out all right with um, using the grey because it it gave me you know an in-between each sort of shade to work from. Anyway you can see where the cobra is already. <laughs> um, there's the star on the right and I'm colouring it all in to make the background tones correct and then I'm going to leave it and cover the side of my hand in blue chalk for the rest of the picture which is fine. Now I've just got to plan out that shape and that's pretty much what I spend most of the time doing, drawing the cobra and the rest of the time it's just just a little bit of time colouring in dots and stars, not a lot to that. So mostly it's trying to get the planes and the angles and the lines, curves and the straight lines on the cobra look, that bit sticks out so they've got to faff around making sure that it looks like it sticks out and this has got a paint pack on it this paint job on it this cobra has uh, that gives it the effect of like stripes of flame running down the surface of the vehicle so it's sort of like it's kind of like you have to make sure you've got the the, the paint going on the surface but still suggests the actual metal structure of the ship without it making it look like the paint colours are the metal structure of the ship, so you've got to have the, the plans of the actual shape of the ship in a bit more clearly than just the paint on the surface. And the paint on the surface is catching the light of the sun on that lower right hand side. I made it look quite blue and I, I failed to do that completely, which is kind of irritating, but it doesn't really matter. Anyway, no, I, I think, I think um, well, I'll, I'll just get on with it anyway. It's got later in the day. I'm still colouring in. I colour in little jo uh, little little chunks, though. To be fair, I go away and do something else, and make dinner, or you know, run baths for kids and things. So it's not like it's all in one big lump. But come on, some of me can. Like planets and nebulas don't take that long, so they they can be done in one short sitting. But Spaceships are a little bit more complicated, they have more details on. They take me a little bit longer because I always get something wrong. I get something wrong in the angle. The whole of this ship is wrong. I've looked at it since. I know it's wrong. The, the, the perspective of the front of the ship has made it wider than it perhaps needs to be. It doesn't matter. It won't. I'm fond of, an, fond of a cobra. I've got the um, the mercenary paint pack on my cobra. It was like the, the bottom tier Kickstarter, I think. I don't know. I, it was it was a Kickstarter reward. I was delighted with it anyway. I, I still like my mercenary cobra. And uh, I got an eagle as well at the, when I started. And then because I was a numpty, uh, I, I thought, oh, oh, this 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 will be good money. I'll, I'll sell this and get a viper. So I sold it. My proceeds from selling that earned myself enough to get myself a little viper and then discovered that Unbeknownst to me, I, I wasn't actually as good <laughs> at fighting as I thought I was going to be. Oh dear, never mind. When the, in Uli, which I'd played before, I used mouse and keyboard. I was ma I was mouse and keyboard, to be honest, uh, for like the first two years of playing. But um, I didn't use a mouse. I used A, S, X, D, and then uh, M, left arrow, right arrow, what, as it were, comma, dot, I think. Um, M's for missiles right and left basically I used almost identical keys to the original BBC Elite which is what I'd used when I'd mapped Uli to play in the, the dark years <laughs> and um, yeah and then I just added in the odd other key like Z I put in as my FA off and I put L on the top for my boost and started to add other bits and bob bobs like Q and E either side of my W were thrust buttons left and right thrust and then W was thrust up I think. Uh, bits and bobs like that but I still add I still add my um, 
A and my M keys as my primary and secondary fire and space um, as and, and question mark as speed up and slow down. And I still have that map now, even though I use a T16000, because it, 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 there's always going to be a time when, you know, you want, I've had to map it again since I got this, this rift. I've, I've had to mess around loads and I still, I've, I've tweaked it a bit, but you're never quite happy with your binders. Some people really good at sorting it out, but I'm just, I'm just rubbish. What I need is, is um, select wingman's target and I keep forgetting what it is on my, on my stick. Anyway, that's really dull. So as I say, I started in a, in a, in a, in a viper didn't get a cobra for a bit in the game because i was like oh yeah work towards the python which is what i'd always lusted after in the original game I wanted a python i've got one now and I, I used it for ages that python i was sleevishly uh adoring towards that python um and um yeah I don't don't fire it as much now it's a mining python now i still love it it's great it's prismatic and everything it's all shiny and nice uh, I have a wireframe paint pack on it to to glory in the fact that I finally have that Python that I originally wanted back in back in the olden days when I used to sit in my brother's room doing it on our Acorn Electron. <laughs> and yeah, Cobra is such a good good ship though. It's it's it's, it's yeah, it's uh, Alex Ryder tastic, isn't it? It's it's the whole story and 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 you know and the Jameson crash site and everything. All this all the wonderful kind of redolent of kind of like mystery and. and history and all of that that's 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 what makes the cobra so cool isn't it oh look i'm coloring in the um the flame vents and things flame vents they've probably got names i'm almost certain they've got names i say that that's all Looks like I'm still trying to do the details on the the paint pack, but uh, I really, at the end of it, I looked and that whole bottom half of the ship was reflecting really very pale blue. And it, it should have been so much bluer than it was. And I just got carried away with orange because I love orange so much. Tried to do the, 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 the vents at the front there as well and it's really hard to do details like that do you know what i might do i might when this is all done i might actually take a felt tip pen and do those nicely i'll do some details i'll take a photo if i do and i shall um maybe add it on the end of this video if i get around to it before i before i complete this video look lots of faffing it's got dark again it's got even darker it must be i think this is this is after i've finished playing computer games in the evening so this is super late at night um but look, I'm trying to show the shadow, but I'm doing it with, I did not use blue enough blues. This is my, that's a very pale blue, which basically works out as grey here on top of grey paper and black black chalk. But it's okay. I mean, I, I don't mind. I, I, there, there is a sense of a, a light and dark and 3D quality to it nearly, but it just, it could have done with being so much punchier and better. Oh, it doesn't matter. Each time I do one, there's, there's a different, Thing I'm not happy with but then again I look at it and I think oh no that one's actually you know I get the hang of it that's where I realized the whole corner of that ship had done the wrong the wrong wrong shape never mind I look at oh you end up faffing around trying to work out where everything goes I'm not the most mathematical person and I often get angles and judgments incorrect I'm good with round shapes <laughs> round things I can do like planets there it's a big circular planet especially if it's silhouetted there that's even better color this round circle in black that works well anyway i've witted about cobras haven't i and how much how much i like them um and wireframes i have not got a wireframe for my cobra i might get one because i've got a nice paint pack i've got two cobras i've got a nice paint pack that i won in a competition i can't even remember what i did i probably drew a picture that's normally what i do but um but yeah Oh, look, I've just realised it's not blue enough at this stage and I'm putting some blue in. Anyway, yeah, so I've got a lovely paint pack that goes on it that's really chunky and nice and brightly coloured and stripey. It looks like a kind of a, a rockety, starbursty splendidness. But um, And I've also got uh, the mercenary one, which I don't like, that sort of the green 
angled stripes that you get the dark sort of you know really dark heavy green color pine green and I've, I don't really feel that I need more cobras than that I mean I'm I'm not that much of a cobra devotee I don't use them a great deal I did use them recently not uh, I say recently but last year probably um but I've been exploring for a lot this last last year so that that I wasn't really in a position to use anything but the one ship I was in um but yeah I did use it and I went on a little nebula hop on it which takes surprisingly long even if you can nowadays you know mess with your frame shift drive um quite a lot it makes for a nice photos I think and they're nice and they're quite versatile and and you know when you're starting out they're perfect because they're cheap and versatile and allow you to decide what you want to do I I should have got one not the Viper but I'd always wanted to um, fly that police ship for some reason I'd spent so long shooting them in the original game <laughs> cool it's nearly done the only thing I've got to do is try and make that star go white which you just didn't want to do it, it, it was so difficult with the paint uh, with the chalk it just wouldn't I need to use paint basically look at the little lens flare I've tried to JJ and brings it up make it look a little bit zingy the, the lens flares look so nice on the original screenshot. I just haven't done them justice at all, but I don't really mind. They, 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 they're jolly. <laughs> but yeah, the um, trying to put in the... It was a sort of vignettish almost, the, the effect of the, the... But I've just plonked some bits of dark to suggest that it is actually space and not just just blue nebula, because it was just the, 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 the light from the star. Oh, look, I've finished. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks for watching anyway. <laughs>